Wake up, Lincoln. This early bird's eye map of Decatur shows the location site of the convention and of Peak's jewelry store. The second day of the 1860 Illinois State Republican Convention, May 10th, arrived bright and sunny. While many of the events that would mark this convention occurred on May 9th, including the rail splitter demonstration, May 10th would be the day that proved most important to Abraham Lincoln, the day he was nominated by the Illinois State Republicans as their presidential candidate. Delegate John Palmer spoke, resolved that Abraham Lincoln is the first choice of Illinois for the presidency and that our delegates be instructed to use all honorable means for his nomination by the Chicago Convention and to cast their votes as a unit for him. Immediately, a few Illinois delegates who supported William Seward of New York, most notably Thomas J. Turner of Freeport, Illinois, attempted to amend the resolution to allow delegates to the Republican National Convention to vote for any candidate in case the nomination of Abraham Lincoln were to fail. However, this attempt was soundly defeated and the nomination for Abraham Lincoln was completed to the wild enthusiasm of the delegates. But where was the candidate dur <laughs> But where was the candidate during all this commotion? According to one witness to the events, Decatur banker Lober Burroughs, Abraham Lincoln, had quietly left the convention and taken refuge in the back room of a jewelry store owned by Jim Peek. Lincoln went there because he preferred rest to mingling with the delegates. Once the members of the convention realized Lincoln was not there, they formed a committee of three members to find the wayward candidate. Eventually the committee located him and Lincoln when he told he was needed at the convention supposedly responded, gentlemen, if it is all the same to you, I would rather stay here and sleep. But he returned to the convention accepting the nomination with the affectionate gratitude of his heart. And there he is.